Well, we're talking about vaccines this morning, but not in relation to COVID-19. A new vaccine for HIV is generating a lot of excitement after its first in-human trial showed a 97% success rate. Adding to the excitement, the team of researchers behind the HIV vaccine have partnered with Moderna for phase two to create a version of it using mRNA technology. That's the same technology that was used to rapidly create successful COVID-19 vaccines. So with more on this, we are joined by CTV Science and Technology Specialist Dan Riskin uh, for another edition of This Week in Science. I'm glad you're joining us with some really exciting news, Dan. How promising is this new HIV vaccine? It's as promising as you could hope for, but uh, you know it is just after phase one trial. So what they've done so far is to give the, the candidate vaccine to people who don't have HIV, people who are healthy, to make sure that it doesn't have any negative side effects and then to check the antibodies of those people to see if in a Petri dish, those antibodies react to the HIV virus. And that 97% comes from that. So there were 48 people in the trial. Uh, some of them got a placebo, some of them got the actual, uh, the actual vaccine. And of those people who got the vaccine, 97% of those people developed antibodies that should work on HIV. And so the hope is, as this goes to phase two and phase three trials, that it continues that record of success. And finally, we have sort of a magic bullet that will work on this, this virus that has caused so many deaths and, and so many problems around the world. It's interesting that the partnership with Moderna is going to help speed up this process. But what's, what has stopped this kind of progress with the HIV vaccines in the past? You know, I think often with COVID-19, we don't stop to realize how fortunate we are about so many aspects of the virus that has caused this pandemic. It's terrible for many reasons, but it has been a, a relatively easy target for vaccines compared to something like HIV. HIV mutates extremely quickly within your body. So it's not just a new variant that shows up in a geographic part of the world. It's that you have different variants in your body. And so as your body develops antibodies to fight the virus, it sort of changes shape and becomes something else and your body just can't keep up with it. And that's how HIV really stays ahead. And that's how it's avoided these, uh, these different vaccines in the past. I mean, I think the best one has about a 30% efficacy rate mm -hmm. and that drops off after uh, just a short period of time. So uh, we really just don't have the tools we need yet. But these new, uh, this new vaccine technology seems to elicit something called a broadly neutralizing antibody, which is like a magic bullet that does seem to look past the changing surface of the HIV uh, virus and get to the parts that don't change. And so uh, this vaccine seems to elicit those kinds of antibodies, which are a special subset of what we have. Yeah. And that seems to be why this is more successful than others that we've tried in the past. So fingers crossed that this actually does work and goes all the way to the finish line. Dan, give us more details about why this Moderna partnership is so important. Well, so this is the great thing about the way that the scientific community stepped up for COVID-19 is that it's not just about COVID-19. It's about all the different parts of our lives and certainly about healthcare in general. We're going to come out of this so much wiser and so much farther ahead than we were coming into it. And we've paid a great cost. There's no question. But we, there will be benefits for us to reap. And one of these is mRNA technology. And so mRNA vaccines didn't exist before COVID-19. They were created. Uh, they were in, in the works. But the first time they were sort of put on the shelf was for for COVID-19 and it's worked beautifully. You look at Moderna, you look at Pfizer, those vaccines are working just beautifully on COVID-19. So the, the real beauty of that is that you can produce vaccines in high numbers very, very quickly. And it appears to be safe based on our experience with COVID-19. So let's apply this to other kinds of vaccines. So even though the trial vaccine that was used in these phase one trials that were so successful, that's not an mRNA vaccine, but they're gonna switch it to mRNA technology because if this works, they want want to be able to distribute it widely and fast around the world. And so that's where the mRNA technology works so well. And so uh, that's what's being applied here to the HIV vaccine. So vaccine good news this morning. Dan, thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.